in a scathing critique of Justin Trudeau's carbon tax policies, Melissa Lanceman employs potent language, branding them as punitive and oppressive burdens for Canadians. The liberal incompetence touches so much more than the criminal justice system. You might need a nugget of gold to buy gas in Ontario today. After nine years of this prime minister, his carbon tax prices have hiked the cost of gas by 14 cents a litre today. If, you refuse to call, if he refuses to call a carbon tax election, will the prime minister put a pause on his punishing hikes over the summer so the Canadians can take a little road trip? Or will he do everyone in this country a favour and take a permanent road trip so the Canadians can afford to live? Yeah. Wealthier families pay more, pay more. So low income and middle class families get more, Mr. Speaker. Eight out of ten families get more from the carbon Eight out of 10. than they pay on the carbon price. Employing a blend of satire and probing questions, Melissa Lanceman delves into the adverse impacts on daily existence. Highlighting the economic fallout stemming from the Justin Trudeau administration's carbon tax, particularly the surge in fuel prices, she underscores public apprehensions regarding the disproportionate burden on average Canadians, impeding their ability to afford essential commodities. Lanceman's query revolves around Trudeau's strategy of advocating for the carbon tax while seemingly sidestepping genuine resolution in favor of unsustainable fiscal maneuvers. By scrutinizing the issue through the lens of economics and livelihood, she holds the government accountable striving for a pragmatic approach to address these concerns.